Hello everyone, welcome back and I'm now doing an unboxing from the spider shop. So let's see how this goes. It's uh, all brought about because of the Home Aero Chalensis slings becoming available for the first time in a long time. I just had to, had to jump on the bandwagon and then I chucked a few extra spiders in there, you know. And one of them is actually for Lynn, so they're not even all, all for me, but uh, obviously I've got to look after them until Lynn can collect it. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Should be fun. I know what's in the box, but I'd, yeah, it's the sizes. It's always a surprise, isn't it, for the sizes. I've been doing my research on some of the species I don't already have. Well, I don't have any of them apart from the Homeo Chalensis. So I've got some ideas on what to do with them. I've got some setups made up, which should, I'm hoping, fit them. And I haven't set up two, because I'm completely unsure about two of them. Okay, so what do we have in the box? We have... Oh yeah, Mitchellensis. Yes. I'm expecting this to be absolutely tiny because other people have been getting their deliveries and they've been very, very small. I think everything, all the different shops um, have all gotten from the same place, basically. So they're all very, very small. I've made up labels for these. I'm very organized today. So this is, I may not be able to say it. Okay, that's the label. On the, Omothymus show I E D T I. How would you say that? I've got no idea how to say that. I think it might be German or something. Well, Latin, but you know, someone who speaks German, it might be alright to say. Um, so that's what that is. <laughs> Earth tiger, but it's an arboreal. Yeah, that makes lots of sense, doesn't it? And then we have another H. Chalensis, one of these is for Lynn. She's not local, so she can't really get one unless somebody else gets it for her. So, we're all looking forward to this. Aha, so this is Syriopagapus lividus. If I'm saying that the right way. Syriopagapus lividus. Okay, let's do this. Syriopagapus lividus. And I've been wanting one of these for a little while because they've got that reputation as being, you know, people get really scared about them, they're really aggressive and all that sort of stuff. Um, well, not aggressive, you know, defensive, but yeah, they've got this weird reputation and they, had, they happen to have them at sort of three to five centimetres, good price, so I thought, ooh, I'll actually get in there on that. But um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Cobalt Blue is the name for that. And then I got to the, I'm reading the names off here because I knew, I knew what the spider shop sort of dirty marker pen, hard to read type jobs. This is what this is going to be. Lampropelma arboricola, the Borneo black. And this should be, what's the size of it? Two to three centimeters, I think. Um, anyway, I've just been watching Tom Moran's video on these, rehousing video. And these need a cross between a, a fossorial and arboreal <laughs> setup. So quite a lot of substrate and the option to go high is the best way of putting it. So that's going to be quite fun. I think the, I can't say it, but the Omnithymus Shouldarty is a similar category. Very, very similar setup. Highly moisture dependent. Well, no, the, the Lividus, highly moisture dependent. All three of those are actually. And all the Lividus is a definite burrower, but the other two are able to, probably going to be burrowers, let's face it, but you need to give them the option to go high and they'll get probably go high as they get older. And then the Mixtopus Cancerides. I, I thought I had one for a while, but it's turned into Atricomacratus. And it's not what it was sold as anyway, it was sold as Oratus. So I just wanted to sort of finish off the Mixtopus collection with one of these. Two centimetres, but these grow super fast, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so I thought I'd stick with the old top down for this one. I'm going to start, start the easy way. This is my pretty much standard setup for a mixtus at the moment. I know this is only going to be two centimeters, so it's very small. But they grow so fast, so there's a nice sort of cave down there. The mixtus are actually moisture dependent. Um, when, well, certainly when they're young. They can, my bigger one is dry, but I do I chuck a bit of water in there. I don't keep it totally dry. As I say, I'm expecting this to probably be a bit on the big side for it. 
lid ready as well, just in case it's a runner. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe we'll get a photo, maybe we'll get... Who knows what we'll get. Let's see. As I say, good get and you never know with sizes from spider shops, do you? Spider shops, not spider shop. You never know exactly what it's going to be. Okay. That's all good. Tissue's still damp. Here he is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so bigger than two centimeters, easily. He gonna stay he doesn't he doesn't know that that's where he's supposed to be staying. Right. There you go, stay in there. Let's get a little photo of him in case he disappears. Maybe empty. I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in. Let's do that. There he is wandering around slowly. So I've got much bigger versions of these, not concerities, but from Ictopus. This will be six six now I've got in the collection, I think. And they those long hairs on the back can really stick out. And they can go start changing colour even when they're only sort of you know, about eight centimetres. He's going to go off down there. Chill out. Okay, so happy with that. Okay, so next we have the Lampropelma arboricola. This is the one that needs a fossorial slash arboreal setup. Oh, I'll just clean out. I've actually made a sort of slightly starter burrow down there. As you see, there's just a good bit of substrate in there, that's a good three and a half, four inches, something like that. For a small spider, that's not bad. And uh, then it's also got, obviously, this raised area up here, it can do something with it if it wants to, with moss and everything to build, use the building blocks. Put a live plant in, on this sort of enclosure, I normally put fake plants, put a live plant, because it's a, almost the case of use them or lose them with some of these live plants, but I'm not going to go out there. I need to, I've got lots of empty tanks, I need to do some proper bioactive setups and really get on with it. Talking of bioactive setups, I've forgotten to put the uh, springtails in any of these, but anyway, let's, let's get on with this. Let's see what it's like. So, Borneo Black, they get massive. And they are arboreal, but probably not at this age. I think this is meant to be, this is the one that's meant to be about two centimeters, I think, so still a very small spider, really. Might get a nice surprise, you know. One thing I do know about it is don't mess about with them. Oh, kind of... I don't know, I've got some more tweezers. From what I can see so far, looking down there, it looks alright actually in size. Not too... Oh, it's, it's, it's not big. It's not big, but it's, uh, it's okay. As long as it grows fast, this will be fine in here. There it is. I'm going to get it out of that. To here. So it is a bit on the small side for this enclosure. As long as I... It's going to be one of those where you have to look out for the webbing. There it is. In. So he's spread out in that water bowl and he's easily three centimetres. No problem at all. But once I know where he is, where his webbing is, and where the entrance to the burrow is, then I'll be able to feed him without too much of a problem, I think. Hopefully that will do him for a little while, so he's, you know, three, four inches. So yeah, it's not the one you sort of want to be rehousing all the time anyway, so that should be okay. Okay, it's time, it's time to reveal one of the H. chilensis. See just how small they are. Pretty sure it's gonna be absolutely minuscule. That's okay. Bilbo, my other one, is actually getting quite big for one of these. This could be his girlfriend or boyfriend, hopefully. Ooh, it's tiny. They must have all come from the same sack, everyone's got the same size. Found out last night, the other night, Portsmouth Trunchler's got a load in as well. Here we are, look at that. Here we are, Lynn. That. Tiny. I think he's smaller than my um, Bonapelma Moderati the other day. I'm marching to there. Let's 
is. We need a little bit. Relatively true. Oh, I should have shown this setup, haven't I? So there's moss for him to drink off. I like to give him a sort of wigwammy type area. Little tiny bits of bark, like that. And we've got somewhere. They don't burrow these ones, or well, mine hasn't so far. Right in there, drink off. He drips. And can we get him close? There he is. Tiny. So that's one. I made a special sticker for one of these. So this will be this sticker. Hey, Mama Chalensis. Lynn's baby. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do my best to get him to molt before you get to get him. It won't be too long, Con. I've made it a burrow down there, and I've made it a, a loose area in the bottom there. If it can go in there, it can. We'll find out in a second. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with this one. Just say it said one centimetre, so I'm expecting tiny. He can be pleasantly surprised. Obviously, very, very fast. Earth tiger that's arboreal. A like the Hattie Tattie Hattie. Hattie. Ooh. It's a good size for a one centimetre. I'd say that's more like two. In fact, I'm chancing it here, aren't I? I think it can go in here. It's a bit on the small side for here, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll be looking for the webbing and the burrow and once I know where that is. It's worked every time I've done it so far. I did it with quite a few different spices. Oh yeah, it's not too bad, is it, size-wise? Can I get it off this tissue without disappearing? It's gentle. Oh no, there we go. Give it a speed. That just disappeared. Of this tissue as it's, it's the hair little hairs look a bit sort of reddish on this one. Yeah, it's in, it's in. And it's stopped still, so I think I can get a photo here. I'll try and show you those hairs because the hairs stick out a long way from the body. So there he is, sat there, and you see him next to the water dish, he's not big. I think I, I don't think he stays like that. They get they get really beautiful looking spies. They don't look like this, but I'd call it Wookie if it does stay like this. <laughs> Definitely looks like a Wookie. Anyway, what a cool little spider that is. And I think he'll be all right in there. I've put spiders that size in there, old worlds before, and it just takes a few days to look out for where the webbing is, and then you know. Once you know where it is, that's where I put the food. Not being too big a problem. I think. Small spiders in big enclosures, it's all about whether you can feed them or not, whether they can find the food, but I tend to give them pre-killed at this size anyway. So I'll find out where they're living and then give them pre-killed. That's, 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 that's how I do it, it's always worked for me. Okay, so we're coming in for the second H. Silensis. see what this one's like. Well, we know what it's going to be like. But... Oh, you <laughs> see straight out all the... Bilbo number two, this one, look at that, it just pops straight out. I mean, that's, that is what they're like. He's probably raring to come out. It's crawling down there now. Yeah. That's what my Bilbo's like, isn't it? As soon as he can, he's out and about, wandering around. Don't worry, Lynn, if, if one turns out to be a wanderer, then I'll make sure you get the wandering one. I was thinking I'll just make sure you get the one, whichever one. Here you go. Everyone molts first. There he is. H. Silensis sling that's doing what H. Silensis do. Straight out. Go for a wander. Ah. It's tiny, but he's he's doing exactly what <laughs> this is what they do. That's why they're so cool. Come on, here you go. It's your new house. Straight in, stood on the edge. Oh, stop him. I noticed that they, they can drop a little bit, they're not so. Just a drop of water in there, right? And that's him. H. Silensis number two. They all have to have a name. H. Silensis, I think that's the rule. All H. Silensis have to have a name. That's my new rule for those. Okay, so I've saved the biggest for last Syria Pagathus Lividus. This is the one that people get scared by when they're rehousing and you see all these videos of them looking aggressive and stuff. Um, yeah, this is a sling. 
and soaking it. So these are highly moisture dependent. Burrowing species, so minimum four inches there, I reckon. Which is quite good going for such a small spider. Gonna have a big water bowl, natural plant at the front, natural plant at the back here. So it's in the light there, you can sort of see the water soaked up in the bottom. This is the area I'm expecting it to probably go in and start burrowing here. Made it a bit looser soil and a bit going down. But it's got a bit of, you know, places to go to start with, just in case. Sometimes they don't burrow straight away. Underneath this big piece of bark at the side here, there's plenty of room under there for it as well. So, we'll get this into the rehousing tub properly and get ready to rehouse it. I think I just forgot to press record, and I don't know how much I did record. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's come out, and it's, it was all scrunched up. It looks alive, well it is alive. It's been very sort of slow. I was kind of expecting it, oh yeah, there it is, moved. That's moving more like I was expecting. Okay, so it's sitting in what's gonna be the water bowl, but I'm gonna try and get a photo before it disappears. Remember to press record this time. But anyway, let's get out of the water bowl so I've put some water in, shut the lid. But I don't want it to come running out, ideally. I just don't want to be in that water bowl. Come on. Wakey, wakey, come on. I want to put water bowl in for you. Very reluctant to, to you know, most. Oh, there we are. Right, shot off into the corner. Okay. You may want to drink, but. I say the tissue was nice and moist anyway, and I've given this a lot of moisture, an awful lot of moisture because it's uh, moisture dependent, and it's going to be tricky to keep it moist. Well, not that bad actually, but <clears throat> with these weird sort of enclosures, these uh, what are they? Teamu enclosures, you do have to put a lot of substrate in if you want to keep it moist. I've found, but this that should be a, shouldn't be a problem for this spider. Yeah, this is good. Happy with that, see how that goes. If you've made it this far through the video, then thanks very much for watching. Thanks for everyone who subscribes and watches my videos and puts up with me. And uh, yeah, it's great. And I'm, I'm really happy with all that. Everything is alive for a start and everything was as expected basically. So it should be good. I'm quite pleased with that. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.